Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem El Shah, Bashem El Rakakutash, double winners unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is Payala, and um, this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I've got an article here from Reuters.com, and the title reads, headline reads, Pope says the threat of war in Ukraine causes pain in my heart. And straight out the gate, off the bat, this man ain't a man of the Lord, man, all right? This heathen, all right, is basically a worshipper of of idols, okay? And it's basically just comes out of the, the Catholic Church, which was set up by um the so-called Negroes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, all right? The tribes of Israel during the time of the Dark Ages, where they basically fell into many different, you know, fables and false teachings and religions, you know, things in accordance with the, the, the mind of man, all right? And when Esau came into power, where it was stamped by the time of um, the Renaissance, which means rebirth, all right, the rebirth of Esau and his rulership, he basically, through the, through the process of time, Jake was was weeded out of rulership and Esau was, was taken up into rulership and he basically sat in the same place as where Jake sat before. Now this is no different except even though this uses the Bible as um you know the storefront of their beliefs, they have it has nothing to do with the Bible, alright? So and this is why I say the fact that he's saying the threat of war in Ukraine causes pain in his heart shows that he ain't of the Heavenly Father. And I'm just going to have to grab some precepts very quickly to drive home that point. The first one being Jeremiah 28 and 8, which reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, all right. Now these are these are kingdoms of war, evil and pestilence, all right. That as we're gonna read through the, the article, it's gonna get into dealing with the United States and Russia, all right. They pers their person of all they proliferate through the earth. The vibration to pump out there is wickedness and evil, all right. If anything, if this was a true man of the Lord, what would he be doing? He'd be speaking out against everything they're doing and saying. This has to happen according to the prophecies of the Bible. Alright? Let me follow up with this. <clears throat> Revelations 11 and 14. The second world is past, and behold, the third world coming quickly. Around the book of Revelations, the eighth chapter, there was, pro there was prophesied, there was the sounding of three worlds. Which was the prophecy of three world wars. So there's, we've already had two. And the third is coming quickly. And they're saying that this, this time that we're presently in. is the resurgence of the Cold War. The new Cold Cold War period basically. And this man. If anything he should be. Have joy in his heart. The fact that these things are happening. Because what? It's, it's moving towards the kingdom of heaven. Alright? And it's the prophecy. is the word of the heavenly father. Coming to pass. Showing you this is a, he's a demon man. This man has nothing to do with the word of the Heavenly Father, okay? Um, so let's read. Vatican City, February 20th. It said, Pope Francis said on Wednesday that the threat of war in Ukraine caused great pain in my heart and condemned actions destabilizing coexistence among nations and discrediting the international man. Okay, first off, this is the scripture I was going to read. In the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter dealing with war and how we what type of mindset we're to have all right matthew 24 and 4 and yahweh shall i'll start from verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled all right so these these this is what the apostles asked yahweh shai on the mount of olives basically saying yo what's going to be the sign of your coming all right and he basically said that you were hear of wars and and rumors of wars all right see that you be not troubled 
For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right? But we're told to what? Be not troubled. Because this is the beginning of sorrows. All right? Whereas this individual, all right, calls himself the Pope, which goes back to the word father, which is even off by so, on so many levels, all right, basically is saying that it, it hurts his heart. All this is showing that this man is for this world, all right, and condemned to the stable, destabilizing coexisting among nations and discrediting international law. What international law? The law of the Bible, all right? No, talking about the laws of man, all right? Which is the heaping of all nations coming together, which ain't in the Bible. The Lord divided the nations according to his, the portion, his portion, which is Israel. All right. The United States and its allies have accused Russia of flagrantly, flagrantly violating international law by ordering troops into separatist regions of eastern Ukraine and recognizing the breakaway Donetsk and uh, Luhansk uh, regions as independent republics. Francis speaking in a somber tone at the end of his weekly general audience also urged politicians to make a serious examination of the co of conscience before God about the effects of their actions. The effects of their actions bringing prophecy to pass, man. That's the effects, all right? He proclaimed Ash Wednesday on March 2nd this year as an international day of fasting and prayer for peace. He condemned... Um, the diabolical senselessness of violence and asked the Madonna, the Queen of Peace, to save the world from the madness of war. All right. Let me just check if this sank. There. So let's deal with that, man. Senseless violence. Lucky, bear me one moment. Um, let me read this as you know. Matthew 10 34 think not that I am come to send peace on earth I came not to send peace but a sword for I am come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foe shall be there of his own household so look the Lord came to bring the division right only to the point of the elect being separated for deliverance from this kingdom all right but also that being done, he didn't come to bring peace. He came to bring a sword, all right? So this man talking about sword unto the queen of peace, dealing with um, Madonna, which is a land that the, the, the way they uh, the Roman Catholic Church speak of Mary, all right, which is basically the, queen, the worship of the queen in heaven. Man, <laughs> these guys are demons, man. So let me read it again. Um, and ask the Madonna, the Queen of Peace, to save the world from the madness of war. So let me read this, man. This guy's batshit crazy, man. Chatting shit. All right. So this is um, Jeremiah 44 and 24. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh, all Judah, that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith Yahweh, Lord of hosts, 
the power of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have spoken, have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore hear ye the word of the Lord Yahweh, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith Yahweh, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of the man, any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord power liveth. Verse 27, Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword, by famine, until there be uh, an end of them. All right. And why is that? Because they <laughs> sought the Queen of Heaven. All right. So this man asking to, to go to the Queen of Peace to save the world. Basically, you're asking for damnation from the Heavenly Father. All right. I have great pain in my heart because of the worsening situation in Ukraine. Francis said, adding that he was ang um, anguished and worried like many around the world because the peace was threatened by partisan interests all right and that shows you saying the man of the lord the lord told us since the beginning of sorrows be not troubled man strap in get ready man it's going to be a bumpy road that's what the lord is saying but it's not going to be a bumpy road why because we have the comforter being the word the breath of life that dwelleth within us that the um as it tells you in the book of psalms uh uh, the angels of the Lord encamp around. Let me read it. <clears throat> it's a book of Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and delivereth them. Simple as. Alright. I appeal to all sides to abstain from any action that could provoke more suffering to the population's destabilizing coexistence among nations and his credit in international law. Really, Lord ain't come to do that, man. This man is too weak into the interests of the world, showing you that he's not of the Heavenly Father, right? Because if they were, they would speak, if he was, he would speak in accordance with the Lord, but he speaks in accordance with the world. The United States, the European Union, Britain, Australia, Canada, and Japan announced plans to target banks and elites, while Germany would major gas pipeline project from Russia is one of the worst security crises in Europe in decades. Now, this is even going to lead to further prophecy because the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy, as it tells you in the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter. Because these, these things that are taking place are only building up to prophecy being fulfilled. All right. Um. This is Revelations 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. All right. So, NATO, EU, they're going to wind up what? Hating the whore. All right. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. All right. So Germany even went as far to halt in their, their gas pipeline project with Russia, right? And that's probably the most, ne the next step that's going to probably happen is what? Russia's going to withdraw um, their um, supply of energy to Europe, all right? To Western Europe, all right? Which basically is going to cultivate this war. And this shows you the kingdom's done because it said, if Satan be divided against Satan, how should his kingdom stand? It ain't. It's going to be destroyed, right? But there's certain key prophecies that need to take place before World War Three can fully unfold in accordance with the, 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 the scriptures. It is the second time Francis is called as an, inter, an international day of prayer for peace in Ukraine. The first... The first... Um, was on January 26th. So this man's going hard, man. He wants his kingdom to go on as, as is. 
And so he says, Jesus taught us that we should respond to diabolical, senseless, uh, senseless, the diabolical senselessness of violence with the weapons of, the, of God, with prayer and fasting. Francis said on Wednesday, man, if anything, you'd be rejoicing. All right, so let me read this. It's the book of Revelations 18, and I'm going to start from verse... Uh, These scriptures here and close out. So this is Revelations 18 and 16 saying, and saying, Alas, alas, that great sea that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, is talking about the land of America, which is modern day Babylon, prophesied in, in Revelation 17 chapter of being Babylon the Great, which is also known as the valley of the shadow of death. All right, the place where Israel so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans as are known today has been sent to for bondage in accordance with the curses of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter verse 17 for one hour so great riches is come to naught and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of a burning saying what city is like unto this great city and dows cut and they cast dust on their heads and cries weeping excuse me and wailing saying alas alas that great city wherein they were made rich wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness for one hour she is made desolate rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for the most high have avenged you on her all right, so you meant to rejoice. That's what we're gonna do. All right, but seeing all these things, what were we told to do when when it said when we see all these things come to the part come to pass, lift up your heads, all right, because your salvation twelfth night. We're we're basically we're looking at this like we're about to get out of here. We're about to be saved, man, from rags to riches. All right. Verse 21, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Fuss with violence, shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. All right? So that's only how the law is going to come. So this guy talking about, you know, diabolical senselessness of violence. This is necessary violence. And why is it necessary violence? Not because I say so. Because the Bible says so. It's the prophecies of the Heavenly Father. Alright? And we're in one mind. This is what this is our faith. This is our belief, what we hold to. These are the things that are gonna happen because they've been consistently happening and they're gonna continue to happen. Alright? So with that I pray you're edified and you can see the, the foolishness of all of these sayings and that hey we're in that time man. The end is, is nigh. Alright? So you are repent, get right. And look forward to the coming of our Lord. So with that I say, Shalom, Shalom.